personal log. Star date. Uh, to the <gasps> fuck knows. I've exited the universum portal. Unfortunately, when I came tumbling out, I, uh, I injured my leg and my arm. I, uh, I pulled my arm back into place, but my leg ain't so great. So, um, there's that. Something very odd happened as well while I was traveling through the, the portal. As I was traveling through the slipstream wormy hole thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, something, something within the portal was pulling me in and out of all these different dimensions. Some of these dimensions looked really strange, like, like really fucking weird, okay? Everything, okay, so everything's blocky in our world, right? Okay. But, there was like, circles, and there was like, really smooth surfaces. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Here, um, I'll put an example of what the world looked like. Oh, I'm just making a, a, a cobblestone house. You see that? How the fuck does that work? And also, where's all the coarse dirt? Anyway, I was able to show you that because I managed to find this very strange device that, sh that was just laying beside this little campfire that I found after I popped out of the portal. Apparently, this thing can plug into your head and you're able to transmit your memories and audio and fuck knows what else. Like literally anything that's inside my head, I can transfer. So like an entire SpongeBob episode, for instance, probably my most favorite episode of all time, SB129. I can transmit that whole episode directly to you, but I'm not going to because of copyright. See, I, I don't know what sort of copyright mumbo jumbo is going on within this neural device. Like I can't risk it, okay? You can essentially project anything using this neural interface to a listener. So, I think of it as a DLC for this audio log. It says on the box it was made in Weiner, and it's called the Cerebellum GPT. Whatever the fuck that means. Anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. Because uh, until I can figure out what to do with my leg, I don't even have to talk about the stuff that I experienced going through the portal. I can just show you. As I transmit these audio visual journeys to this drive thing or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I'm not- I'm trying to roleplay here, okay? Shut the fuck up, don't, don't question, question my methods. methods. I'm going to try and break open this little medkit looking thing. I assume it's a medkit. It's got like a weird little cross on it and it doesn't exactly look like a conventional cross. Um, and it, it's, it's got some alien language. Like for all I know, it's some sort of alien porn stash. So if I do open it and my eyes dissolve, there really isn't much I can do. Like, I always say, you can worry and worry as much as you want, but it ain't gonna fucking get you anywhere. I don't actually always say that, but it's inside my brain somewhere. Anyway, on with the show. Imagine there's Doctor Who visuals here or some shit. I think the portal has hurt my mental health. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum.